안녕하십니까? Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Young Won. I am honored to meet you via online surgery. Let's look at today's patient. 63-year-old male patient. Upper 16 and 17, they're missing. As you can see in the lower, the patient only has teeth up until number 6. Patient did not really want two implants in the upper and just wanted one implant. So we decided to place just one implant in number 16. The 63-year-old male patient does not have any systemic disease apart from a bit of hypertension, so there is no particular issue. And due to economic and other reasons, the patient just wanted one implant, and that became our plan. Let's look at the CT on number 16 on buccal side. There is a lot of residual bone. I think when extraction was done in the past on the palatal root, I think there might have been a very severe lesion. Palatal bone has been lost a lot on CT. I decided to place the implant around the buccal bone and on the palatal side bone graft and GBR was planned to augment palatal bone. As you can see on the CT sectional, the residual bone height is quite favorable on the buccal side. On the palatal side, there's a lot of bone loss. In this patient, bovine bone, AOS in xenograft is going to be used to do bone graft and collagen membrane is going to be used for GBR. Palatal mucosa is going to be quite thick. In those cases, you can use collagen for a bone graft using xenograft. In order to make one guide template, the CT was taken and planning was done. As mentioned earlier, the depths of the implant. We need to consider the bone plate on the buccal side and determine the path and everything else. If you look at bone quality, it is approximately D2 to D3, so the bone quality is not excellent. I planned TS3 5.0 by 10 millimeter, and I anticipated that the bone will be soft, so drilling is going to be done only up until 4.5, and 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant is going to be placed. Implant is going to be placed like this. On the palatal side, bone graft is going to be done. This is post-op panoramic image. As was planned pre-op, the implant has been placed to the planned position. If you look at the CT on palatal side, bone graft has been done. I think the patient moved a little bit while taking CT. And on palatal side, bovine bone graft was done, collagen membrane was covered, and primary closure was done. Surgery was completed in this way. Let's look at the surgery. Incision is being done. It is made from the distal side, almost as if you're pulling it. The reason why we do incision is because when you use one guide, a lot of people use just a tissue punch. But for this patient, there's insufficient amount of attached gingiva, so small incision is made and flap is reflected and the template is connected. I would say, yeah. Four point five by ten millimeter drilling is done. Bone quality is not very good. TS three five point zero by ten millimeter is going to be done, and final drill is going to be done up to four point five. Fixture installation is going to be done.
bone quality was not very good. Cover screw is connected. As mentioned earlier, on the palatal side, the bone defect in order to do GBR. If you look at the incision area on the palatal bone defect, bovine bone AOS is grafted. Sufficient amount of bovine bone is placed because space maintenance is necessary as palatal mucosa is thick, bovine bone is sufficiently grafted on the palatal and distal side of fixture. Using OS guide, collagen membrane is covered on the palatal side and actually I didn't really reflect flap on the buckle side. As shown, OS builder is placed and on top of the fixture, bovine bone is placed. After that, on the buckle side, below the flap, OS guide is placed to do GBR. Collagen membrane is used. The wound, I'm going to do primary closure using interrupted suture. Bone graft was done palatally. The mucosa on the labial and buccal side is sufficient, so you don't need to do a lot of releasing. The defect wound, granulation tissue has been removed. For suture, I used interrupted suture to get primary closure. In this case, in number 16, there was a bone defect, palatally, and using the bone plate and the buccal side, implant was placed and for the palatal wound defect, xenograft was used for GBR to treat the patient. I used collagen membrane and primary closure was done. Thank you for watching.